movie Hacksaw Ridge will be in theaters. It's about the life and story of Desmond Doss, a Medal of Honor recipient who lived on Lookout Mountain most of his life. Our Josh Rowe has spent the last several days mm -hmm. talking to people who know his story and some people who knew him well. Josh. Calvin Kim, Desmond Doss served in World War II as a combat medic. Because of his religious beliefs, he would not carry a weapon, wouldn't touch one. He was Seventh-day Adventist, refused to work or train on Saturdays as well. Because of his faith, he was classified as a conscientious objector. During his training, a lot of superiors wanted him out of the Army, but that was all before what happened in the war and Hacksaw Ridge, also known as the Mita Escarpment. We're going to take you back to, to May of 1945. We're, we're near the end of World War II, but we're on an island called Okinawa, south central uh, end of the island, near one of the highest points uh, there called the Mita Escarpment, uh, three to 400 foot high cliff uh, that the Japanese held. Charles Gouge is the executive director at the Medal of Honor Heritage Center. Mr. Doss donated all of these things to the museum to help them tell his story. The Japanese counterattacked on them and drove uh, 55 men down to the bottom of the cliff, leading, leaving 100 men of B Company up at the top without any assistance once that order to withdraw came. But Desmond Doss himself refused to withdraw and stayed for hours up at the top using the double bowline knot, using his convictions to stay and take every one of those individual wounded soldiers down to the bottom, himself under fire the entire time. Desmond Doss was awarded the Medal of Honor for his actions. He was the first conscientious objector to receive the medal. On October 12, 1945, 15 recipients got the medal that day. But when Desmond's name was called and he stepped to the presentation, line, President Truman extended his hand and said to Desmond, uh, I'm very proud of you. You really deserve this. It's a greater honor uh, for you to receive this medal than for me to be president. After the war, Mr. Doss moved to Rising Fawn, Georgia. His first wife, Dorothy, died in a car accident in 1991. Mr. Doss remarried a few years later. My mother-in-law was uh, widowed, as uh, Desmond was, and um, they met with uh, by a mutual friend and then they fell in love with each other and uh, he became a part of our family. Desmond Doss married his second wife, Frances, in 1993. Frances' son, Mike, and his wife, Tracy, lived next door to them the last couple of years of Desmond Doss's life. He gave God the glory in everything that he did. Mike says he loved to hear Mr. Doss's stories of World War II. It was neat to sit down and talk with him because you know, a lot of these guys didn't want to talk about the war, and I, I think he pretty much had a clear conscience about it. He didn't mind. You know, he would tell stories, and my boys loved to hear them, and we loved to hear them as well. You know, he would just, he would tell you what it was like, you know. The movie that tells Desmond Doss's story, Hacksaw Ridge, will hit theaters one week from Friday on November 4th. Today, I sat down with Terry Benedict. He's one of the producers on the movie. It had a documentary about Mr. Doss released in 2004. Terry lives in Chattanooga and has been researching and working on the Desmond Doss story for the last 17 years between the two projects. The movie has big Hollywood stars, Andrew Garfield, Sam Worthington, Vince Vaughn. It was directed by Mel Gibson. Terry Benedict told me about bringing Garfield here to Chattanooga. Andrew Garfield, who was the Amazing Spider-Man, he plays Doss, uh, brought him down here to Chattanooga and took him up into Virginia where Desmond grew up and let him go through a very tactile process of touching and feeling everything Desmond and then of course, you know, we worked on things like his accent and, um, and he would ask me thousands of questions. Now, Terry's in town for a screening of the movie tomorrow night. We'll have more of that conversation next time on The Price of Freedom. David.